another let's leave it open to another 30 35 frames i'm going to condense this so it's easier to just uh go back and forth door open so now i am going to add a new layer and this one is going to be door one close so we know door one close because remember if we have to let me shrink this some more if we have to open and close three times we're going to be going way down the timeline the first door i'm using 70 frames the next door uh well let's see that's 72 simply open it let me scroll down here and let me just get the size and the placement. So I, I'm on that last keyframe and all I wanna do is click on the door. I'm just gonna use the regular selection tool, click on it and copy it. Now on the door close, I'm gonna add a blank keyframe, blank keyframe F6 or right click and select timeline and keyframe. I now have a keyframe here, and while that's selected, I want to paste in place. Now that door is in the exact same position I had ended on here. It's holding for the remainder of those frames open, and now starting here, I'm going to close the door. But I haven't held that background. Uh, long enough so I am going to go down oh you know what for the heck of it make life easy I'm just going to go all the way down to about 200 I can always remove frames layer later <laughs> I'm just going to f5 to hold that background with the frame so I can see it and let's go back to the layer I'm going to close the door on I have that first keyframe and now I'm going to I think we used 30 frames to open so if I'm on 70 30 frames down is 100 f5 just adding a frame to animate the symbol remember your door is a symbol I'm going to just right click and I'm going to create a motion tween we have our start position put the playhead in the end position Go back to the transform tool, bring the door back up to level as a rectangle, bring it over. You can see that I, I didn't bring it up quite far enough, but the frame is giving me a guide to work with. Oops. Okay. This is the basics and it really is going to depend on what shape you want this door to be oh I didn't make that background rectangle big enough but notice the door opened it held open so you're able to see the um so you're able to see uh the door the animation behind the door now the reason for that long pause let's drag this down again so we could see everything in the layers the background I held till frame 200 now you can make your life easy, kind of like with the walk cycle. We animated your door opening and closing. Now, unless you plan some unique door design where the opening and closing will be different each time, once you've created the first, you can copy and paste it and reuse it for the next two. So in that case, your door design and the opening and closing is original once and just reused two more times. It will be the background, the environment around the door and the animations within or behind that are unique each time. So what I could do is right click I can duplicate these layers. Look at that. Now they're the same. However, they're all playing at the same time, which is not helpful. So what I want you to do is while both of those new layers are selected, click, oops, oh, I released them. Let's select again. You want to select all of it, both layers, the open and close, the duplicate, and drag them down so they begin right after the first one and be sure of course to rename this would end up being door to close this would be door 
to open. And the same would be done then, of course, with um, the same would be done with door three. So I'm up to frame 200 now. We should have no pause at the end. The door opens, holds open for about 30, 35 frames so we can really see whatever animation's going on. And it closes, and now it's opening again and holding for another 30 frames. And you'll figure out your own timing. And then closing, and then, of course, we would add a third instance of that door. Okay, now, the next thing you have to consider is in that background art, the basic background color. Let's just open this for a moment. Uh, actually, let's just turn off the door, um, uh, all the doors themselves. Right now, that doorway is not open. We still have a solid color close, covering it. So any animations going on below this background framing area, we can't see it. So um, because the background, you see the dither pattern there, it's simply um, drawing. It's just color that filled it. I should be able, let's just change the color so it's easier to see. I should be able to draw a shape in here on this same keyframe where it's all drawn, release it, make, meaning make it not selected. So let's give this a quick old experiment. It's easier than grabbing the eraser. I've just placed this in here and it is part of this whole background layer. See how I'm dragging it out and now it's white? When I dragged it out, and now of course I've deleted it, what it did is it deleted the art below it, which was just simply the brown um, background. So if I, I'm just gonna call this framing, framing wall. And again, all layers must be labeled. I'm making a new layer, and I'm just going to go below it, and I'm just going to call it shape because I just want to experiment and show you on frame one. I'm just going to draw that. Um, I'm going to insert a keyframe real quickly. That's F6, and I'm going to put this in a new position. This is just animating regular old art. I'm going to right-click in between and do a shape tween. And so, see that? Your animation can, and then from there, I'm just going to put a, uh, another keyframe down here, and I'm just playing at this point. Uh, put another shape in. I'm just going to move it around. Oops, let's go to the keyframe and actually move it around. And that would continue going. So now that I made that whole, look at that. Whatever animation I create behind it, I guess I s expanded that window too much. Whatever animation I made behind it would show through. So all this is just to get you structure. Everyone does not have to have a traditional hinged door. You've seen some samples with other alternatives. This is to just give you an introduction to how to build the structure of the animation. And we can go through more samples. If you actually run into an idea you want to do but can't figure out how, you could send me a message and I can make up some more samples so they're ready for next class. I'm going to just save this real quickly door sample one okay